Hello and welcome to Thyrus Web Development Tips and Tutorials. Today's video is about creating a very simple login form using Tailwind CSS. If you're very new to Tailwind and need an introduction, you must watch my other video in this link where I talk about installation, setup, why Tailwind and so much more. Now let's get started with this form. For this demo, I will be using play.tailwindcss.com, which is a playground. You don't have to create a new project or install Tailwind to get started. Now, let me remove all these comments here. And uh, I will keep the first two divs, which is just a background and some flex columns. So I'll remove everything else in between. Yes. So. I will first use a span element within which I will type login to your account. I want a slightly bigger font size so let's utilize the utility class text LG or text Excel. Text to Excel is better. I notice that the text is black. It's always good to keep your text slightly gray. So go to the first div element and add a class text gray 800 that would do also anti-aliased now this makes the font looks much better also I like to make this font a little thin so type font light yeah light would do now let's start with the form block so div class First, a margin top, MT4, BG white, shadow, MD, and, and rounded, LG. You can obviously not see anything because we don't have anything here. Let's add that indigo colored line on top of the form first, which is another div. Div, class, H2 bg indigo yeah 400 looks good it has a rounded border on the top left and right so add a rounded t md next add another div and we need to give it a padding of horizontal padding that is px 8 and a vertical padding of 6 so px8 and py6 within this comes our first label let's add display block to it and then font semi bold type in username or email this looks good then comes our input field input type equals text placeholder equals email now you see we don't actually see an input because tailwind removes all the default styling so class border this gives a good border to the input sufficient generally w full h5 px3 which is the horizontal padding again and py5 we need some margin on the top so mt2 and you see the hover and focus states are not the ones we need so hover outline none we gotta remove the outline focus outline none and tailwind version 2.0 has introduced the ring utility class for a nice outline so focus ring you can give it a color which is indigo let's try 600 and we need rounded corners so rounded md let's see the ring is not working oh yes because along with the color you also need to mention the width of it so focus ring one this should work yes it does maybe we want to reduce the shade so yeah indigo 400 that's good let's copy the same 
label and input and paste it again so we have all the same class names of course you can extract these repeated classes using the apply directive etc but right now i'm just going to leave it as it is for demo paste it here change this to password add a margin mt3 change this to type equals password and placeholder is password great now we need a button on the left which is login and a forgot password link on the right so those two things come within another div which is a flexbox so div class equals flex justify between and items baseline so it'll align the items baseline first let's have a button type equals submit class uh, login first type login class md4 we need a margin top pg indigo 500 and of course text white Let's add some padding, py2 and px6 and rounded corners of course, so rounded lg, um, I think rounded md looks better. And let's add the hover state, hover bg indigo 600. Let's check, yeah, that looks neat. Now let's add the link forgot password a href equals pound forgot password now this looks slightly big so i'll reduce the font size class equals text sm and hover state underline and that works everything is great I just want the login to your account to be in the center so I will add text center to this div and text left to the form okay all good yeah please note that we have not used the form element and you can replace the div with form now I'd like to remove SM here on line 2 because we need the margin auto on all screen sizes and also I find this form a little narrow so I'd like to remove the max width Excel and instead add W96 a fixed width above screens after SM breakpoint. Now let's resize and see what it looks like. This is what it looks like on small mobile phones and then all the way up to tablet and then the desktop that's it hope you enjoyed this thank you for watching hit a like and share this video ahead if you enjoyed watching this don't forget to subscribe below and turn on the notifications so you won't miss a single video from Tyrus.